Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited <laughs> to commentate this video because I have put together a compilation of some of the best luck, which is the opposite of what I got when I literally had to walk away from my computer in disgust because, uh, look, even though I still think a couple four stars, three stars for 10 bucks is not a terrible offer, especially for the chance to get multiple five and certainly six star champions it's still disappointing especially when you've got like a hundred people watching live rooting you on it feels like to me emotionally when i used to play basketball and you're really hoping that that free throw goes in but the minute somebody releases the ball you could tell that they short-armed it sometimes it just hits the rim or sometimes it's an air ball you even see this in the national basketball association so I felt like everybody was rooting on to get a five or six star and I airballed a free throw. That's emotionally how it felt in that moment. And I did get it on camera and it wasn't my proudest moment, but sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. Dodds masking in. Uh, this is what I was kind of hoping for, right? Two five stars, two four stars. That is a solid value for $10, less than five bucks for per five star with a couple of thrown in four stars. Amazing. Now, is that the best value? Of course not. But this is one of two things that I want to really focus on. Because with all due respect to Fishbowl Mysterio, this debate between Apocalypse and Doctor Doom is one that I truly think is not universal. We have the undisputed best champion in each class, especially when you consider Apocalypse's utility, against one another, and they're both new. This is such a rare occurrence when you open a six-star Nexus. And yet, this is exactly what happened to Potato Salad GMT. And I don't know. Personally, and I know this is probably going to be somewhat of a hot take, but because some of my favorite champions are mutants, I would choose Apocalypse over Doctor Doom every time. Some of you, your favorite champion in the game is Dr. Doom, and that is sacrilegious for me to even mutter those words. But if you're asking me to state who I would choose, and I'm not going to do that political thing where I don't give you a straight answer and I just play it safe because that's not what this channel is ever about and has really ever been about. Um, apocalypse over Dr. Doom every time. To me, it's an easy decision. To most people, it's let's ask a bunch of people and, and vote. So that is the first uh, nexus, but that is not even the craziest nexus I think we're going to see in this video. So potato salad, congratulations. I'd go apocalypse. A uh, little bit different for you. Uh, he also, by the way, same day, got six-star Corvus. I think this might have been his 273 exploration nexus. Now, he was probably hoping that if he chose Dr. Doom or Apocalypse, he went with the other person who appeared, but again, it's Corvus and either Doctor Doom or Apocalypse for the first time. You can't do better than that when you're uh, exploring 7.3 and thinking about the potential for those Nexus crystals. And as I said, I would choose Apocalypse every time. Potato Salad, I assume is in the majority. He chose Doctor Doom and Corvus. No matter what you choose, you cannot complain about this outcome. It's just ridiculous amazing like first world problems of first world problems now we'll get back to the submissions from a few of you papa iki got a double six star and a five star for the same thing i got three and four stars ten bucks killmonger and hawkeye congratulations king of arenas got a six star and a five star as well drax for the first time fear the void oh this is making me jealous Six Star Star Spidey was one of those champions that I really, really was hoping for and bought several weeks worth of What's Next Nexus and, of course, got zero <laughs> Six Star Starkeys. Kruger Voorhees got himself a Six Star Gamora for the first time and three other five stars? Three five stars and a six star for ten bucks? Filthy. Tyler, 31388. Eight. This is, in terms of value, again, incredible. It's Satan herself, Kamala Khan, though shout out to my man Sweeta, who was on a Satan herself bandwagon from the beginning. Six star Stark Spidey sighting, more importantly though, for Tyler 31388. And then a five star and a four star. How about Killa Ghost 2? Uh, triple six star, including Stark Spidey, and a new Doctor Strange, and a five star Star Lord as his worst champion. <laughs> Insane. 
six star uh, thighs, aka Black Widow Deadly Origin for the first time. That's the other champion besides Stark Spidey. I really want a new. Of course, didn't get even a five star T1P underscore TOP. And I'm trying to prepare you all because there's that one more Nexus. Two of the craziest decisions I've ever seen. I I know that I'm probably the minority on one, but let's talk about this one. New Hercules, new Shang-Chi, new Doctor Doom. Jimbo Slice 315. I wish you'd recorded this, but you sent it to me at the same time. I got so many other submissions, so I was able to make this into its own video. I don't know if this is, for me, as difficult because since I suck at intercepting and Shang-Chi doesn't have the utility to me that Doctor Doom does, even though he's still a beyond God tier champion, I'm choosing Doctor Doom. But some of you, Hercules is truly your favorite champion. You've told me. You think he's broken? And that's the best way possible. Of course, you could argue that all three of these champions are broken, and that's wonderful. I don't want them to be, quote-unquote, fixed or corrected. I want them to stay as powerful as they are. Uh, I'd go Doctor Doom 1, Hercules 2, Shang-Chi 3. What about you, YouTube? What would you do? That's the question. That is also how we're ending this video. I really uh, look forward to the debates and the comments. I think the bigger debate might be, actually, Apocalypse versus Doctor Doom. I'm on the side of Apocalypse. Maybe 60% is on the side of Dr. Doom. Who knows? Maybe more, maybe less. We don't know. But at the meantime, congrats to everybody who made it into this video. Thank you for the submissions to the channel.